Hey, hey everybody, my name is Marcel. This is Ernie Racing. Today we're talking about the news from the World Economic Forum and this video of Tony Blair at the WEF 2023 annual meeting in Davos. So a little flashback because it's important in reference today. So for those that don't know, Tony Blair was the Prime Minister of Great Britain and Northern Ireland in 1997 to 2007. Uh, let's check it out. Um, and I also think... This, this issue to do with the technology and the digital infrastructure, I just want to emphasize how important I think that is. Because in the end, you, 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 you need the data. You need to know who's been vaccinated and who hasn't been. Some of the vaccines that will come on down the line will be multiple. There'll be multiple shots. So you've got to have, for, for reasons to do with the healthcare more generally, but certainly for a, a pandemic or the um, for, for vaccines, you've got to have a proper digital infrastructure. And many countries don't have that. In fact, most countries don't have that. So again, you've got to say, OK, who are the people that can make this happen? How do you get the right partnerships in place? So, my Who are the right people that can make this happen? A digital ID system, digital card for are you vaccinated or not vaccinated? How many shots are you up to date? Did you see him smirking as he was trying to spew that out? My view is, this is what I'm arguing with, the, to, to, that should happen in the G, G20 particularly, I think, which is, I mean, G7 is an important forum, but the G20 is the broader forum, um, is you, you've got to work out what is it that you want to achieve in order to make sure that any future pandemic is properly handled, and what are the partnerships that you're going to create in order to ensure that the answers you get are the right answers, and then you're going to have to have the mechanism. The answers are the right answers. Well, what we have, what have we learned? Why, where is the investigation into the pandemic response? The, the who? Where is the investigation into the who's response? We've all seen what the who did to destroy us. So where... Where are the answers? They're not going to come from the WHO. So why would you listen to the WHO, right? Which is your World Economic Forum, buddies. Mechanisms of implementation. And those mechanisms will be partly through the formal institutions that you have, like the WTO. But they'll also be through organizations like, like, like yours, which are which I think you know, have many advantages because they don't get landed with the same bureaucracy and, and the, frankly, small p politics around them. So I think you know, that's what we need to do. But if you the small people around the bureaucracy, like people like you at the World Economic Forum. The, so the globalist elites who aren't accountable, don't have to be transparent. Even worse, I mean, our politicians are so bad, but what, how do you even get worse than that? Well, you go to the WEF and then they don't have, they can't even be caught for any accountability. The politicians to focus on a plan, I promise you, it's got to be because they think in the next few years, not in the broad future it's going to matter to them to have that plan um, and i also think <sighs> yeah guys anyways for those that missed this last year so what's going on yes this year oh we got to work on our trust people don't trust us so that's the goal of 2024 davos is to build trust back ernie racing and speaking about accountability and transparency what are you doing at the world economic forum tony Says the Rebel News. Rumor, Tony, can I quickly ask you why you're here at the WF meeting? No, no comment? I mean, you're no longer actually in politics, so why are you so influential on the world stage, not just in the United Kingdom? Are we holding hands? This is quite cute. <laughs> um, can you answer why Tony Blair's coming today? No. No. Tony, with everything we found out with the Pfizer documents, you recently said those that, who aren't vaccinated are, quite frankly, idiots. Given what we know now, would you like to take this, this opportunity to apologise? No, no, this is a public path. I, I can walk along here and I'm just asking my good friend Tony some questions. Yeah, that about summarises it, guys. So now, so if you're... Uh, oh. A politician or a non-politician with WAF, you're going to have a whole bunch of goons protect you from any future questions because you're not accountable and you don't want to be accountable. You don't want to be caught for what you're pushing, meddling.